Hey guys, this is Will from Going Out of Places and I'm in Bremen, Germany right now in my hostel, completely impromptu. This is a townside hostel in Bremen and as some of you may know, I have a bit of a sweet tooth and so I thought, what if I went to the grocery store, the convenience store, pick up a few of my favorite sweets and show you guys as I unbox and maybe clumsily attempt to open some of these things and try some of my favorite snacks. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna start. Um, uh, I basically picked up a bunch of things uh, over the past couple days and uh, yeah, here we go. Classic. This is Haribo, and you can get these um, pretty much anywhere around the world. In Canada, we definitely have them, but they're very expensive. This was insanely cheap. I think it was only two euros. So um, I'm just gonna open away. This one, you definitely gotta have. If you've never had it, the best gummy bears, I'd say in the world. Um, so opening it up. And this is, I guess they call it a maxi pack. So it's got 360 grams. It's a little bit bigger than the standard package, which is smaller, but I know I'm good, gonna be downing a lot of these. So these are original from Germany. Haribo, if you didn't know. Um, some say the formula in Germany is a little different from what's out there internationally. Oh, so what's really good about these is that just packed with juice flavors. I mean, every single one is so good. There's no you know, nasty flavors in here. Couldn't really tell you what the flavors are in terms of fruits, but there's like a real fruit juice in here. It's like not too soft, not too hard. Really good. Okay, so this is number one. Now, I discovered this or, you know, found this randomly. Um, this is Oreo, actually. It's called Joy Fills. Now this is a Mondelez product. So definitely not particularly German, but I saw it and I thought it was really cool. I thought really mix it up instead of just, you know, candy and chocolate. So let's try this out. I do love Oreos, so we'll see how this goes. So actually really small, if you could see that. Really tiny. Kind of reminds me of like Wheaties. But pretty good. It's, it's packed with cream inside. The cookie part on the outside isn't very cookie-like. It is more like, like a weedy, but not healthy. But there's like a lot of cream inside. Something that you could really snack on. They're really small. Leave them at your desk as you're commuting. Wherever you are, put it in your backpack. Cool snack to try. All right. So yeah, this is number two, Oreo Joy Fills. Next, let's let's change it up. Let's do a bit of chocolate because I got a lot of chocolate here. This is Ritter Sport. So Ritter Sport is something again that you can find pretty much all over the world, um, but uniquely German for sure. And there's so many different flavors. I couldn't buy them all really. Um, I found that this was a nice new special edition. It's the cacao um, class. So I guess they're, they're basically getting uh, cocoa beans from different places from all over the world. This particular one is from Ghana. Is that Ghana? Yes, this is from Ghana. It's 55% chocolate. So I saw it and it looked pretty cool. It's got nice colorful packaging, which is a little bit different from their standard packaging for all the standard flavors that they have. Um, so again, let's give it a shot. So the nice thing about Ritter is that, you know, they come in a lot of small squares. Um, so really easy to share, really easy to, to snap off and save for later. I'll put this back in. So I won't be able to eat all of these. I'm gonna snap off a bunch. I'm gonna do four at a time. Mm. Okay, so not, not super milky. You can definitely taste the, like the cacao. Um, it's 55%, so not as sweet it's really a milk well it's really a chocolate bar nothing's inside it really simple so this is it quality chocolates um again in this really cool square form factor uh so it's very easy to recognize i definitely 
I definitely recommend this one. This one's pretty good. So this is number three, Ritter Sport. All right, now changing gears to cookies. So cookies um, I love, and Milka is another German brand that I think a lot of us know about. And uh, what they have here is a little bit different. I didn't want to get another chocolate bar. So this is basically some new cookies that they have, and they're soft. I think is what it says. So they're called Sensations Inner Soft. I thought they'd be a lot smaller, but here it goes. Okay, they're like butter cookies, kind of. Really not that soft. So we got a lot of chocolate chips. Those are those are mocha. The cookie itself is kind of bland. Really not that soft. This is more like a combination of butter cookie and chocolate chips on top. Average. So no, I don't think I'd really recommend this. The Milka sensations are a bit of a bust, um, but this is number four. So here's another one I discovered, and this is a company called Niederrega, and this is from Lubick. And Lubick is actually really close to Hamburg, so it is this part of Germany, northern Germany. And what Lubeck is really known for is marzipan. But I'm not a big fan of marzipan, so I decided to get something like this. This is nougat based, and it's a, the coffee version of this one. It looked, it looked really good, so I thought, why not? Okay, so perforated opening opens up like that, and you get access to the golden ticket. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna break off a piece. Yep, so they all got, this is what it looks like. A nice little small piece. Mmm, it's got a nice like crunch to the bottom. Check that out, check that out. It's got a crunch at the bottom, milk chocolate all around, and, and coffee on the inside. Kind of like, a, like a, not a mousse, but a really light nougat. You just melt in your mouth. Wow, that is good. Okay, this I can definitely stand behind. It's really good. So that's our fifth one. Again, this is Niederrega from Lubick. Coffee one, really good. Definitely got it. Okay, this one I picked up today. This one is actually local to the region. This is Hashe. So I think the, the original owner is from Belgium but came out here to create his own chocolates, Hache. And this is a brand that you're gonna see everywhere here. And I think all around Germany, definitely more of a local brand. I haven't really heard of this anywhere else. Uh, and this one is, it says um, Edel Mocha Shane, probably pronouncing that wrong, but Superior Mocha Cream Chocolate. And I had a sample of this earlier, but I'm excited to try this out. So here goes, it's only, Two euros and, and 30. Bit more of a premium one, but, but really not that expensive. Okay, so you open it up. It's got the foil inside. Um, you pull it back and you get your chocolate. It's a really simple milk, milk bar. This is one of the pieces. It's already melting in my fingers as we speak. Mmm, whoa. A lot of flavor in there I didn't expect for the visuals because it just looks like any other Hershey bar but it's definitely more milk chocolate based it's softer melts in your mouth but as you're you're eating it the flavors really start developing it's like it kicks in a bit slowly but that mocha that coffee kind of mocha flavor really hits you it's pretty good so this is local Bremen chocolate. Hmm. Definitely worth getting. They have their own stores in Bremen by Market Square. I think there might be another location. They sell it in kind of stores all over. Definitely saw it at the grocery store as well. So if you're in um, this part of Germany, definitely think about picking it up. Um, this is Hache. And what is this? Our sixth one. That about wraps it up. Uh, 
you know, opening up all these sweets is awesome. Now I have a big stash that I can eat uh, over the next couple days in Germany. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy this one. Uh, again, this is Will from Going Awesome Places. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on the channel.